Hi, Scrappy friends. It's Kim back from Making Creative Memories in Time. Today, I am demonstrating the newly released, which is a bring back tool from Creative Memories, and this is the Envelope and Bow Maker, and it's two tools in one, and today, we are only going to focus on the Envelope Maker part, and then I'll do another video on the Bow Maker part. So, I want to first start off by talking about your card size is listed over here in the first column in each of these three sections. So, based on whatever card size that you have and want to create an envelope for, there that is listed. Then, your paper size is listed in the second column in each one of these sections. And then your punch guide is listed in the third and final column of each one of these sections. There is a little um, envelope maker step-by-step -step listed right here. And then there, there is a picture that shows uh, the pictures for step four, step five through six, and step seven through eight, and how to use the notch punch here. This arm swings out to accommodate your paper size, and there is a stylus right here. You'll see it right here, and for me, um, it's easier to pull it out if I flip it over and just get my thumbnail right under that, but there is a stylus that has a little dot on the end that will help you score. So, um, step one says determine your card size in inches. So, I am creating using the brand new craft envelope paper um, bundle. And I am going to do a five and uh, five and a half by six and a half is what I'm going to do. So, it tells me that I need a nine and three quarter square piece of paper. So the paper that I have, since it's in that bundle, it is nine and three quarters square. And I, this is the Craft um, five by seven. It's called Craft Dots five by seven envelope pack. So one side is a pattern and one side is just a beautiful light craft paper. And it's nine and three quarters square. So then it says uh, trim your paper to the correct square paper size. I have that align left edge of the paper to the punch guide. Okay, that's this, all right? Then score line A and line B, okay? So line A is gonna go this way and line B is gonna go this way. So we're gonna open both of our. Then on this particular card size, it tells me that I am for five and a half by six, I'm sorry, five and a half by six and a half, nine and three quarter, and I'm gonna score at four and a half. So I'm gonna put my paper in at, here's four, four and a quarter, four and a half. All right, it tells me to score line A. Line A goes this way, line B goes this way. And I am not scoring hard because I do not want to tear my paper. And if you notice, I'm not holding like a pencil because that'll put too much pressure. I'm holding sideways like this laying the ball at an angle and I'm just scoring the paper. I'm going to do the same on line B. I am holding at an angle and just scoring because I do not want to punch a hole in the paper. So there's line A, there's line B. When you flip it over, you can see those scores. Then it says rotate the paper 180 degrees. Okay, so we've scored those two. So now we are going to rotate the paper. Now we are going to score another line A. And we are going to score another line B. Again, we're not putting too much pressure. Okay. So now we're going to punch. So I don't know if the camera is showing you, you see that little triangle right there? Now I'm gonna zoom in for this part. Let me get myself all centered here. 
I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. You see these little feet, and then there is the center notch right there, okay? So these little feet are there to line up with this V that is created, okay? And if you're like me and you're a little visually impaired, you're just going to move that around until you see that these feet are lining up with my score lines. And then I'm going to punch, okay? We're going to rotate. We're going to line back up. Punch. And then we're going to rotate. We're going to line up and punch. Rotate. Line up and punch, okay? Now, if you want to put a, a curvature, like if you want that to be rounded, what's going to happen on this end is you're just going to, with a 90 degree angle, you're going to line your paper up there. And you're going to punch and it rounds that corner. Line up and it's going to round your corner if you want your corners rounded. And you don't have to round your corners. You can round two of them if you want. And you don't have to do the other two if you don't want. Okay, so now let's zoom back out. And now I want this pattern to be on the inside of my envelope. I'm going to go ahead and slide my stylus back in so and it clicks in place. I'm going to slide my stylus back in. I want this to be on the inside. So what I'm going to do is grab my bone folder and I'm just going to score and the reason I want my pattern to be on the inside is I want to be able to address the envelope and um, the mail carrier to see where it's going and if I use this busy print on the outside it's going to be hard to see what's happening there so five by seven envelope well it's not really a five by seven this is a five and a half by six and a half and so you're going to add your tape on the bottom of the side edges from the rounded corner down if you wanted to use a liquid glue you could use a liquid glue especially if it's going to go through the mail and then when you're finished you could use liquid glue here or your tape and there is your five and a half by six and a half. Well, actually, this ends up being about a six by seven. So your five and a half by six and a half card is going to fit perfectly in there. And there you have it, friends, your beautiful little envelope. So what do you think about this? envelope maker this tool is a must-have and i will be back in another video to demonstrate the bow how to use the bow part of this be sure to give a thumbs up be sure to leave a comment like and subscribe thanks friends happy scrapping